Hey guys, David here and welcome to this video. So Gearbest sent me the CR10 for a review and today in this video we're gonna unbox it and assemble it and maybe even get to the first print. Now if you wanna get your own CR10 there's a link down in the description where you can get one and if you use this coupon code you will get it for quite a bit cheaper even under 400 bucks. And by using the link in the description, you also help me out as it is an affiliate link. Now the place where we're gonna have the 3D printer is out in the garage. And it is used as a garage as well, so it's not like the prettiest environment. But I think it's gonna work out quite fine. And please just bear with me, uh, the dryer is on in the first couple of clips. But I think it's gonna be fine. Also, one thing I didn't uh, notice actually until I was finished assembling the printer is that on the SD card that is included there is an instruction manual on how to put it together and calibrate it and everything. I'm gonna tell you all of that in this video, how I figured it out, uh, but if you wanna like just look something up you can just check out the manual on the SD card as well. As you can see here, there are quite few pieces, meaning that the assembly should be relatively quick and easy. All the like the main parts are already pre-assembled, which is going to make your life a whole lot easier. So why don't we just start off and assemble this thing and let's see how long it takes. So what you need to start off is to take some of these longer screws and feed them through the bottom of this subframe up here and then you can screw the top part onto here. If you have put in these four screws, the top part holds on quite well already. But to reinforce it even more, we're gonna add these T brackets onto the connections here. You have to be mindful that there are two different ones. There's the one with just the screws in it and there's the one that also has this switch which is going to be the end stop for the z-axis. The one with the lever switch is going to go on the left side of the printer and the one without the switch is for the right side. So I'm just going to put this in. There are these uh, T-nuts on the end and they should fall right in and then you can tighten the screws and it should hold on. Once you have put the brackets on both sides, just like this, you can take this part, that's the white part, that's the Bowden tube, where the filament is going to go through, feed it all the way over here and then into this hole. After you've pushed in the white tube firmly once, it's going to hold on pretty well without you having to tighten up anything. So once you're done with that part, we can start with the wiring. So the first wire you want to plug in is the one with the three. It has one for the extruder, one wire, one for the x-axis and for the x-axis limit switch. So what you do is just you find the part where you have to plug it in and then put it in there. That's pretty straightforward. Just make sure that like the E goes to the extruder, that's the one with the white tube connected to it. X goes to the this motor here, which is driving 
the print head in the x direction and then y would be this motor back here which is trying the bed front and back. Once you have plugged in all the cables from this side there are two cables coming from the printer with these metal connectors on the end and they are gonna go into the back of this unit. It's pretty straightforward you can't plug this in the wrong way so just like the one with the many plugs put it into the like the socket with the many plugs and vice versa. But then you can tighten them with this nut so that they don't get pulled out. And that already concludes the wiring part of the 3D printer. Now this is most of the assembly done completely. We want to put this thing that which is the spool holder put it on here fix it with two of the thumb screws and put the spool holder itself on there and then the main assembly is complete. Now before we go ahead and start printing we want to make sure that everything is nice and tight and if you can feel your bed wobbling around like this then you possibly need to tighten some things down here. Here you can see these hexagonal spacers and I'm just gonna use the wrench that is included to tighten this up. Now it's not like a screw but more like a positioning device so like if you turn it around once it's gonna change a whole lot. Just like turn it until it feels right. Before you plug your printer in you want to make sure that this switch here there is a 220 volt and a 110 volt option and you want to make sure that the switch down here is set to your correct voltage. And with that all done you can plug in the printer back here and into the power socket and then turn it on back here for the first time. And like just like look around if anything should start smoking or anything just pull the plug or turn off the switch back here as this obviously wouldn't be good. Then you just take the switch back here and turn it on. And it already starts up. And here you are in the main interface. So once you have the printer up and running, you want to go to the interface, press the button in once, turn the wheel so it goes down to prepare, then go to auto home and press the button again. Then the printer will go to its home position. Um, this is like the, the home point. Now what we need to do before the first print is adjust the height of the panel here where you print on. And to do that there are these screws down here, you can see them here. And by turning them we can adjust the height of it. And we need to do that for all four corners. Now I already did this corner, so that works already. And in order to move it around a bit more easily, go in again here and then go to prepare again and then disable steppers. That's gonna turn off the motors so you can move it by yourself. And then after the first corner is done, you can move it over to the second corner. You can also use the interface to do that. What we want to do is the distance between the head you can see down there and the glass sheet here should be about as much so that it barely grabs onto a sheet of paper. Now right now I can move this sheet of paper here freely. So I'm gonna Loosen up the screw up a couple of turns till I see that it is roughly close. And then I just like turn the screw until it grabs onto the paper. So as long as I can move the paper freely I just move the 
build it up a bit more. If you have two hands to use to do that, it's quite a bit easy as well. And um, now it grabs onto it. Now I wanna like back it off until it like only grabs onto it very lightly. And then you just repeat this process for all four corners. Once you did this for all four corners, you want to just check the middle again if it's still perfect and then we can go over to the panel again. In here we go to prepare again and then we can go to preheat PLA. And it's gonna start heating up automatically. In the meantime you can get out the material that is included. It's not very much so you should definitely pick up some more if you haven't already. But it's perfect to get started. Then what you want to do is take the beginning of the filament, feed it through the hole here. You can press down onto the lever here. And once you got it in there you can just like keep pushing it in until it hits the front. So you need to push it all the way through here. Um, then when material starts coming out the front you can stop pushing it in. Then next you can push the button again, get into prepare, move axis, move one millimeter, then first you can go to set and move the, by turning, move the extruder up a bit. I already did that. And you can go out here and go to extruder. And then you can start turning here a little bit and it should start coming out. Next thing you want to get out the included micro SD card which is in the SD card reader and then on the side here, put it into the slot. So that it is nicely fitting in there. And then once the car is initialized, you can go to print from SD. And just choose, I guess, whatever file is on there. I don't know what the file is going to print. Or what even those are. Here's a cheat code file. I have no idea what that is. I'm just gonna print it. Then you can see that it heats up the bed, which is heating up to 50 degrees Celsius here. The print head is already at 180 degrees. Um, so I guess we're just waiting now. And it's now at the temperature and the printer is gonna home and then hopefully start printing whatever the heck that file is. I let that print run overnight and what came out is this nut and bolt that screw up together actually quite well and I'm really impressed with the print results I see so far. More about all of that is gonna be in the review which is coming up soon-ish. And if you like this video please leave a like down below and also consider to subscribe. Also check out the link to the printer down below. There are also many other great things on Gearbrass that you can check out. So thanks for watching and until next time.